as you continue along your healing journey and you your vibration increases, you're going to be asked by your higher self to take a closer look at these aspects of you that have been um, hiding in the shadows. These are the aspects that have been created by your life experiences, by your traumas, by your programming, and by your limiting beliefs. The things that have happened during your life that you've assigned a story to when it happened, something that really isn't true, but based on where you were at that time and based on what you knew and what you had been taught, you assigned a story to it. Well, your higher self is going to be coming through now at a much greater clip, meaning the frequency, the energy is moving faster through you. And it's going to be reflecting out these aspects of you that have been hiding in the shadows. Now, the ironic thing is you think when your frequency goes up, these aspects are not going to be as noisy. But in fact, the opposite happens at times. It's very common for these aspects to pop up in a big way. And I'm going to explain why that happens. So as you work to raise your vibration and you reach elevated states of consciousness, higher frequency, your energy is moving a lot faster. So because of that, you create a greater polarity between the, the person who you were and the person that you have become or the new you. So as your energy is moving faster and all of a sudden your higher self wants you to re-examine or take a look at something or an aspect of you that you have shied away from or turned away from because it just felt too painful, it's going to come up in a big way. And when that happens, we often think that we, you know, maybe we fall off the wagon, right? Or we fall back to a state that we used to be. We feel like we take a regressive step or a back step in our in our healing and we start to judge ourselves. And that simply is not the case. But the interesting thing is, as these aspects come up in a noisy or a loud way, it is very easy to slip back into an unconscious state because this is an old, familiar friend. And before you know it, if you don't have a keen sense of awareness and maintain your elevated frequency, you could easily find yourself slipping back in to these lower frequency states of consciousness or becoming unconscious. Now, the higher you go in, in your vibration, the less that that's going to draw you back in. You may slip back in for a short period of time, maybe a few moments or a few hours, whereas in the past, maybe you would get lost in these old aspects or old traumas, get to like a spiritual funk or spiritual depression for days or sometimes weeks. That's likely not going to happen. But when they do come up in a big way, we all too often jump back into that state of vibration, which means we go from here to here in a very quick clip. It's like an invitation from your ego to step back into the comfort zone of who you were. Even though it doesn't feel good, it is an old familiar friend. So it's important to allow these things to happen. Remember, it's a polarity thing. As you're as your frequency rises, the lower frequency energy, these old aspects and identities are going to come up and they're going to be very noticeable and very noisy. That's because they are so different. There's such a frequency gap between where you are and where you were being these identities that are coming back up, these wounds that are coming back up to be felt. So if this happens to you, and it will happen to you, it happens to me. It's important to remember to maintain awareness of who you are, that energetic multidimensional being. It's important to know that your higher self is showing you something because it represents energy that has not been available to you up until now. So when we have these traumas, this energy, this stuck energy in the body, that's energy that's essentially offline. It's like fragmented. We call it um, soul fragmentation, right? So an aspect of you is not available to the whole so you're operating as a smaller or lesser version of yourself, which means maybe you lack a little confidence, self-worthiness. You're not operating at your full limitless potential. And a lot of us go through our lives feeling that way. And that's because this energy is really offline. It's stuck within the body. So when your higher self moves through and pings one of these old identities that were created from traumas, it brings it up in a very noisy way and it says, okay, I want you to acknowledge this aspect of you that was wounded, an aspect of you that you've been turning away from for a long, long time, 
And I want you to connect to your heart space and embrace this energy, meaning we need to get into the heart space and we do that by feeling this energy as it comes up. And these old aspects of us, these wounded versions, it doesn't feel good. So it takes a lot of a lot of courage and a lot a strong commitment to be able to allow yourself to feel that because if we turn away, we are not acknowledging an aspect of ourselves, meaning we're keeping some of our energy out of the equation, meaning you're operating as a smaller, more limited version of your potential. You're limiting yourself. So when we allow ourselves to feel this, and it could be an external event that triggers one of these old aspects, these traumatized aspects to rise up, right? Maybe you get anxiety. Maybe you, you have feel this strong sense of fear in the moment something happens. That's the opportunity for you to embrace this energy. And when we embrace it, when we could feel it, when we could accept it and say, okay, this doesn't feel, feel good, okay? Right away, the ego wants to judge it. And we say, oh, this doesn't feel good. We have a choice to go distract ourselves and not process this energy or breathe into the heart space, connect with the truth of who you are, connect with your higher self, connect with love in the midst of this density. When we do that, the frequency of that energy starts to rise and it gets drawn right back in to the totality of who you are. And your energy starts to move even faster. So we're rising in frequency. We're being held back by these traumas, by these aspects of us that have been traumatized that we have failed or refused to acknowledge, right? It's holding us back. They're coming up now to be acknowledged, to be seen, to be loved, to be felt. And when you connect with your heart space, you just take a moment. We don't judge the situation when we get triggered, when we feel these identities rise to the surface, to stense energy. We take a moment to connect with our heart, to breathe, to connect with love, because you have built the circuitry within your body by doing the breath work that I teach on this channel and doing the shadow work. So you know how to get centered. Sometimes it takes a little more focus, a little more intent, a little more consciousness to know to do that or to remember to do that when you get triggered. But you know, maybe you forget for a short period of time, but then you remember, oh, I am an energetic limitless being. Mark has talked about this. I have done the exercises. I know how to get inside in my heart space. I know how to anchor into my solar plexus, into my root, my sacral, the lower chakras, where a lot of these traumas are originating from or they're emanating from and find my center and find my balance and connect with love. If you can do that in the moment, you are accepting this dense energy that is rising up to be felt. You're actually finally processing it, something you've failed to do for years, sometimes decades, right? And as you process it, that dense energy rises in frequency to match the rest of you. And your body can now hold more light, meaning you could ground more of your higher self, you could integrate that energy and you can open up to the magical experiences that you've been denying yourself of because you have been playing small. And you've been playing small because you have been afraid to acknowledge these wounded aspects of you. So when you stand in your power, stand in your courage and stand in your love and allow whatever it is to come up to be felt, no matter how bad you, you say it is, right? Because so we want to judge this energy as bad. It's simply energy, just energies of different frequencies. We have a high frequency energy and we have lower frequency energy. It vibrates at a different rate, right? But we want to judge it. Stop judging the energy because you're judging aspects of you. You want to love all aspects of you. So when this energy, this density comes up to be experienced, Connect with your higher self, connect with the love, allow yourself to breathe with this density and feel it. You will experience your body physically releasing this tension. It will start to move out of that fight or flight mode. It will start to move into coherence, meaning your brain and your heart will start to sync up and start talking to each other. All of your gifts that you've been cutting yourself off from will start to come back online. They will start to be perceivable by you and your reality is going to start to change. You're going to start to be so much more graceful, so much more fluid, 
throughout your day, so much more stable in your energy that you're going to have the confidence and the ability to let go of all of the things that have been weighing you down, allow all that energy back into the mix, and you're going to start to feel abundant. You're going to start to feel grateful. You're going to start to feel love. You're going to start to experience joy. And that's going to start to manifest in a new reality for you that is full of those very things. This is life-changing stuff. We spend so many years running from the parts of us that we fear. It's time that you embrace these aspects, reclaim that energy, and watch the magic that you are start to unfold. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you so much.